so bear with me. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Riss and Troy's Way. So I'm giving you guys a fair warning. You got about five minutes to think of something nice to say. All right. All right. Oh there you go. All right. All right. So here we go, guys. We're ready. So finally, look at that, huh? This is your freaking way. Yeah. Are you guys happy? Feeling relaxed? Good. Good. I'm so glad that you guys are not doing the whole like walk down the aisle traditional blah 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 so blah so kind of thing. It doesn't make sense. This is a perfect reflection of your personalities and the personalities of all these people. So I'm very, very happy about it. So this is your day, you guys. Live it up. After this, just don't worry about anything. Enjoy the food, enjoy all the company, enjoy the drink especially. And just it's your, it's your day, so live it up, enjoy it, and take that fun and enjoyment and take it and share it with everybody, and share it with, you know, for tomorrow, and the next day, and the next year, the following year, the next decade, just keep on sharing that fun and enjoyment. And that goes for all you guys. <laughs> Page one done. All right. So, here's all the lovey doves. <laughs> So, you guys, today is a celebration. It's a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people that are in it. <laughs> so, when you think about it, this whole wedding ceremony thing is kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, you're standing out here and all these people are like looking at you and stuff, and everyone, you know, you kind of wonder like, why do you do this? Why do you do this sort of thing? And, um, you know, the marriage ceremony has been an important feature across every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of, we have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives. Um, but this one is regarded so critical, we acknowledge it with its special status by sharing it with everybody else. So why this moment? Because despite all our differences, love is what we all do. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. That no matter who we are, where we come from, what we believe, we know one thing. Love is what we're doing. By. That's why we both stand. That's why you're all here to watch these two get married. Um, and uh, we have all love in our lifetimes. And in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of being. And you know what? There's something else. It's also about friendship and family. Knowing that you have, knowing that you have so, sorry, knowing that you have some fun, no matter what life throws at you, is, um, I found a really, like, as I was doing research for this, I did a, I found a really great quote from Tim Conway. He says, I've never really taken anything very seriously. I enjoy life because I enjoy making other people enjoy it. And that's really cool. Like, think about it. He enjoyed life because he enjoyed making other people enjoy life. And that kind of defines these two guys. That's, well, that's the word of the day. Enjoy life. But this defines these two guys. Like, if there's anyone in this whole world who loves doing that and sharing with others, it's me too. I mean, for real. Hi, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> anyway, you guys know how to do it. Like, all my life, I've known my big sister. So always watch out for her family. And she's always putting the needs of others before her own. But the most important thing is she knows how to have fun. 
She really, really does. And you guys, you know her, you all know her. <laughs> and I've known Troy for, for a few years, and I know he's the kind of guy that goes with the flow. Casual, easy going. He's, he's rock steady. He knows when to work hard, but he also knows how to play hard. Um, and he knows how to savor a good moment. So to me, Troy is an easy going and upstanding. And I guess you gotta be because you've been with us. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are like Ian Yang, Bonnie and Clyde, <laughs> Ding and Dong, perfect combo of knowing how to chill and enjoy the moment. And that's why I chose that quote. It's okay not to take everything so seriously all the time. It's it's like that old quote, like let's stop and smell the roses. You know, like like this is the time to do it. Like, just enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy everything about life and carry that on for the rest of your life. Um, I do find it appropriate that you guys would choose the Hawaiian theme for your life. Hawaii is about beauty, nature, love, and taking things easily and enjoying life. It makes total sense and you should experience for everybody. Great. Am I doing okay, you guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. So, you remember the time I asked you about thinking about something nice to say? You guys remember that, right? You didn't have too much margarita yet, did you? Okay, good. Does anybody like to say anything to the happy couple? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> I want okay, to. <laughs> Um, I just want to say that Marissa, we love you and we're so happy that my dad found you. Um, you guys are so great together and I can tell that you really make each other happy and um, you make my dad happy. And I just want to talk to you guys. And I'm just so grateful for you and just who you are and the happiness that you brought me down. So I just want to talk to you guys. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I know we've got our extended family now, huh? Yeah. Any, would anybody else like to say something? Come on, anybody? You can say aloha if you want. <laughs> okay. She's going to sing for us later. What? Oh. <laughs> Dan, can you shut that door? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Aww. Aww. Very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Anybody say something. Else? Um, All what? the rest of their lives. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. So just tapping into what you said about Marissa, one of the first times I met Marissa was outside of uh, our son's kindergarten class, and... Marissa's always been a giver, but she's um, she had Issa in the stroller, and she is just days off of back surgery. She's in a lot of pain, and she saw in me that I might have had some stupid work stress, nothing like what she was going through, and she looked at me, barely even knew me. We're talking about maybe the second week of school, and she said, I will take Jake for you. She's got back surgery. She can't hardly move. <laughs> and that's the way she's been for our family um, since we've met her. And we really appreciate and love that about you. And Troy, you're a very lucky man. I am. And Marissa, you're very lucky. Yes. Very nice. Well, Marisa is my first grandmother. Oh, and uh, like Mark said, if anybody knows her, she is such a fun loving, fun person. Outrageous <laughs> at times, but so much fun. And uh, she is one of the most online ladies people. <laughs> 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 she sets her sights for it if you want to have Yep. Okay. Yep, that's for sure. And so Troy, <laughs> help good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. I just told the line. Out of it. That's all you gotta do. Just go with the flow with my Lisa. But she's also a very, very different person. And adores her family. And we all know that. So, Troy, welcome to the family. Aww. This crazy family. 
already said these things, but I just want to from our yeah. part of their families to you see you guys and we're so happy that you're together and um, you're know, awesome and love you and you know, so we are like the of our family and it's you know, like things that way and we're going to be happy to be soon and we want to see a whole lot more of you guys. So I just want to say, I've known this guy forever. Love you, man. Congratulations. And uh, here's, take it from me, here's second chances. Yeah. <laughs> and fishing in a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last chance. Anybody else? <clears throat> we gone forever. <laughs> We're good. All right. All right. Now, would you guys like to see some of you don't have to, but you can. Okay. Well, also, so I was going to prepare, but uh, then I got hung up on training. Oh, yeah. Hey, Um, So, it's okay. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody that helped us. Nan and Terry, you guys were amazing. <laughs> Awesome. Ma coming down and helping me too is great. I mean, just, you know, um, really a heartfelt the, the amount of time and energy people have put into this little affair. Dan and Leslie came all the way from Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us. Like, without hesitation, everybody's helped us. Laura, you helped me virtually pick out a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I got this on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, I want I want to you know, thank all my family. I could have asked for a better family. I mean, inner and out, outside, secondary. Some of my friends on top of it. I, I, I feel so blessed. And um, it's, I feel so special. Troy's family, you know, when I met his, his parents, they loved me right off the bat. But, you know, knowing Troy, I, I thought, well, that's okay. Yeah, I get it. But it's just so kind and generous and always reaching out to my kids. And then for Vanessa and Joel, uh, Joe, you guys have been I mean, I can't believe I have a daughter that looks like that. <laughs> 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 and grandkids to boot. <laughs> yeah. But um, Joe and Vanessa with the kids, they're so special in my life. And every time they're with us, I feel like it's a gift. And um, just, just really solid and loving. And I just love to see the young people you know, raise their kids like that. And with Shane and Shane, 
Chelsea and River. River is the most adorable baby. I don't know where she's at. She's probably going to climb. She's right here. <laughs> she's right there. Right yeah. there. Yeah. And, you know, like the second, <laughs> the second date that Joy and I had, we went to Bowling. And I walked somewhere, I came across, and some kid, you know, walked right past me, looked right straight in my eyes, and smiled this most beautiful smile. I thought to myself, what a cool kid, you know? So sweet. And that was Shane. We didn't know until later that they were bullying down the, down the way. So that was really cool. So, and then the last thing I'm going to say, because I don't want to take up so much of your time, there's more for me to be had. Um, for Troy, he understands I want everybody to understand that he knows how difficult I am. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'm very independent, self-sufficient, and instead of walking in front of me or behind me, he walks with me side by side, holding my hand. And through all the stuff we've been through this year, we still love each other just the same as we did. Aww. <laughs> so, although, you know, we do have differences, <laughs> you know, I'm a tree hugger and he's a tree carver. <laughs> um, we find our way together, looking into each other's eyes and knowing that we love each other forever. And we feel every day blessed. So, I just want everybody to understand that it's okay if you hear us debate. We're, we don't, you know, we're not upset with each other. We have a safe word. Pineapple. And to my kids, Lisa and Alex, they accepted Troy right away. Of course, because they can play with them. <laughs> but, and the circus. <laughs> but um, I am, can't have a better daughter than to see my house. And my son, my son, I'm proud of him each and every day. He's the most talented, smart kid I know. Well, Dash and Jane are pretty smart. He's a little Tyler. <laughs> but um, I love you. Okay, so I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs>
so uh, let's incorporate a little bit more Hawaii in this, and let's do the lay extreme. That's easy. All right. Um, so uh, the flower lay is a symbol of love, of welcome and celebration. It's a low. At this time, I would like uh, I would like to have you present uh, to each other these lays in Hawaii. Lays are exchanged as a symbol of love for each other, and the beautiful, the beautifully crafted lay with its hand-picked flowers and twine, carefully bonded together with love, is a reflection of your love and aloha for one another. As you exchange these lays, you will begin to weave your lay in life together with love. And now, with loving aloha, please present your lays to one another with a smile and a kiss upon your face. Here are the lays, real flowers. So, Mari, do Troy first. Troy. There we go. Oh, nice. nice. All right. Who's on the cheek? We're not ready for that. All right. I, I found a really cool uh, prayer in Hawaii, in Hawaiian, and uh, I'll say it in, in my best Hawaiian <laughs> that I can. It's going to sound terrible, but then I'll translate it in English. So, there we go. I, I practiced it with Nicole last night. Uh, all right. So now, aku maloko mai kaai kai akuna amele kaona kaona akaona emadolele me kako aku. Which means, may the Lord God bless you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may God lift you up to your conscience, upon you both and to your peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 All right. We're almost done. The vows. All right. Here we go. I'll say the vows, and all you guys have to do is say, I do, and forever be bound to it. So it's easy. All right. Mari, or Marissa, will you laugh with Troy? Go on adventures with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day. Oh, and, and Troy likes to serve, so you'd be willing to like sit on his shoulders while he serves and like, <laughs> 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 and, 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 he, he does like the bowl, so like what if you guys go to like, you know, a bowling alley and the weights like, so even if that's like that, would, would you take him? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Troy, will you laugh with Marissa, go on adventures with her, support her through life, tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? And what about if you're at a concert and she makes you get up and run to the front stage and bypass security and maybe get you to get her She'll do that. <laughs> I don't understand most of it, but it's for, it's for eternity. So, good? I'm good. Straight and beyond. So, just to make absolute sure now, I'm going to ask you guys both to do a vow together. Will you, Marissa, and Troy be each other's partners from this day forward? You promise to bring out the best in one another, share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of your lifetime and for other, whatever may come next. Don't forget to punch your face. <laughs> I do, absolutely. Yeah? Good. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, <laughs> 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 <Not yet. laughs> the rings! <laughs> the rings! It says right here, the rings. <laughs> Alright, you both have chosen to wear rings as a reminder of your love and promise. People always say, you know, wedding bands are like perfect for people. No beginning and no end. But you know, these rings did have a name. Technically, I'm sorry, I stones. And eventually, someone dug them up. The metal was liquefied. Passing with these rings. So, yeah, it was a process, but something beautiful was made from that. And love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings. And through a combination of serendipity and effort, the perfect beings shape it into something that's beautiful. It's, a, it's the process of making something beautiful where there is one significant at all. And as you look at these rooms over the years, I hope you remember that. You've created something that you've done with And just as you're protecting the rooms, I'm confident you're protecting the moments of the future. So, we're going to have to do that. So, we're going to have to do that. All right. We're going to have to do that. So, that is the choice I've had. With this ring, I marry you and buy into my life.
Okay, put the ring on. Don't speak. Troy? Uh, Troy? With this ring, I marry you and find my life in the Sorry. All right, let's try that again. All right. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. Is it a symbol of my eternal love? Symbol of my everlasting friendship? And the promise of all my tomorrows? Ball and chains forever. Ball and chains forever. Cool. Wait a minute. Don't kiss yet. Don't kiss yet. I have one more quote. Dr. Seuss said, sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Well, guess what, Dr. Seuss? We definitely know the value of this moment. By the powers vested in me, by the universe, the state of California, Luke Perry, and of course, you guys, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's